Hello everybody, I'm Alex, and I am what people call a Christian illusionist. Now, illusionist is just a big fancy word that means that I can do stuff that looks impossible. But really, nothing I do is actually impossible. In fact, with a little practice, you can do the stuff, same stuff that I do. But you know who really can do what is impossible? Jesus can do anything, including what is impossible. You want to hear about him? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, well here's our big idea for today. With God, all things are possible. Here, let's say this together. But when we say the word all, I want you to shout out as loud as you possibly can. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. With God, all things are possible. Great job, guys. You know, we can do anything if we have God's help. But on our own, we really can't do much. In fact... We're a lot like these ropes. And I know what you're thinking. Alex, you're so silly. We're nothing like these ropes. I mean, we're humans. These are ropes. <laughs> but if you look closely at these ropes, you'll notice something that is just not possible. Because <laughs> there's a knot in the middle. I know. That's not very funny. <laughs> so, there's something that's just not possible. And that is, you can't separate these ropes without untying one of the knots. Here, let me try it out. <coughs> no, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> See, just like these ropes, we as humans have our limits. But you know what? God doesn't have any limits whatsoever. Wait, what was our big idea for today? With God, God, all things are possible. So even though we as humans have our limits, God doesn't have any limits. Because he is... Limitless. God. God is limitless. Isn't that cool? Yes. Well, you know, this kind of reminds me of a story found in the Bible. It's found in Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 through 21. It goes a little something like this. One day, Jesus and his disciples were walking around. You know, it's just a normal day. And then a bunch of people decided to follow them. And I mean a bunch. When the disciples went around and counted all the people, they found that there were 5,000 men there. And when they counted people back then, they didn't count their families along with them. So you can imagine 5,000 families all following Jesus at the same time. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a lot of people. Well, see, that day was going pretty normal until dinner time came. And how many of you ever got hungry before? Yeah. I know I have. In fact, I could go for a sandwich right now. But the problem was, when Jesus told the disciples to feed the people, they didn't have any food with them. And, well, they had one lunch, but what's one lunch going to do for 5,000 families, right? I mean, so the disciples thought, gee, we're in a pickle. <laughs> well, that's not what Jesus thought. Jesus knew with God all things are possible. So what he did was he took the one lunch that they had, and guess what happened? The amount of food that they had started to get bigger. In fact, the first family ate, and they were completely full. There's still more families to feed. So what Jesus did was he took the, uh, the next bit of food that they had, and he handed that out too. And the next family ate until they were completely full as well. In fact, this continued until all the families ate, until they were completely full. And when they went around to get the leftovers, you know, to save for later, they found they had more food left over than when they started. The disciples never could have imagined feeding all these people with just one tiny lunch. But Jesus knew, if I trust God, I know anything is possible. The same goes for me and you. If we're in a tough situation, you know, you know like we're sick or we're being bullied or you know, we're trying to tell somebody about Jesus and we don't know what to say, remember, if we trust God, anything is possible. Remember, God is limitless, and with God, all things are possible. Well, I got to go now. See you later. Woo! <laughs>